who's ready for light summery redheads? I know I am. I'm always up for a good redhead. I always say that on my funeral deathbed, at my funeral, on my deathbed, I am going to be wearing a red wig with red lipstick. That would be my request. So ladies, this is John Renault's Amber in the color 27 MB. Now we all know the famous Stacy who has a channel wear wigs with me. At least she's famous to me. And she's the main person that sports these redheads. And while that's great and all for people who are natural redheads, a lot of us are not natural redheads. So it's hard to tell how a, a red wig um, is going to look, a natural red I should say, is going to look on someone who's not a natural redhead. So I hope that this video helps some of you who are in the same boat. Now first, let's talk about the wig. This is John Renault Amber. She's a very, very popular piece. She is open wefted, full mono top, all those other bells and whistles that John Renault has. Um, so she's a decently priced, well, nowadays nothing's decently priced with John Renault. All their prices have gone up, but I will say, okay, so while I'm just disappointed in wigs being discontinued and um, the, uh, the price is going up, I did go to my local wig boutique. I went to Haley's, um, actually it's called Wig Designer Ellet, but the owner's Haley. And I was trying on wigs. That's like my home away from home. I love it there. And I tried on a new amber in shaded peach. And I will tell you that the, they finally got smart and they've lightened up the hairlines because I love shaded peach by far my favorite red. And, um, but I was hesitant to get it in like most colors because of the, or most wigs I should say, because of the, the dark knots, because I had a Alessandra in salted caramel and I love the color. The wig was just too much hair, but the knotting just deterred me. I and mean, you can do powder, this, that, and the other. And of course, wig reviewers will feed you all that BS and say, oh, this really works. And I mean, it kind of does. And it, you know, it, it helps a little, but when people are in your business and I work in a hospital, I work with patients who I'm like right next to them. So that knotting is more obvious than you think. From far away, no, but when you're conversing with people, they're gonna be looking at your head like, what the hell was going, you know? So I don't think it was that good. So I, I deterred from getting pieces like that. I got John Renault Zara Light in Salted Caramel and the hairline looks fantastic. But now I'm finding that they're doing that with all their, maybe not all their pieces, but they're all the, the new lines, not even the new lines, like as they're making more wigs, they're brightening up the hairline and it didn't look bad it did it looked naturally blended it wasn't like raquel welch where they have this blonde strip of highlighting of lighter hair and then darker because that to me was like a dead giveaway it was a wig even though it made the hairline look really good but um so yeah so just stay tuned for that but this piece is very popular because she's long she has this long beautiful look that every girl wishes they could pull off with their own hair. I know I never could. She's got these nice tapered bangs, you know, a few layers. I don't have measurements of the layers, you guys. You have to watch some other YouTube channel that has time to write all that stuff down. But, um, and then she's got these curls. This is perfect for date night hair. Um, I wouldn't wear it just like going to the grocery. I mean, you could wear it to the grocery store, keep a grocery store hair. But these, you know, this is like church hair, date hair. You want to go out for drinks, hair, um, things like that. It just, it looks good. And so that's why she's a favorite. Um, the lace front and this one. So because of this color, you obviously don't have to worry about knotting. And the lace front looks fantastic. Um, ooh, I got some loose ones in the front. It, you know, I mean, you could thin. Make sure you don't do that in public. It looks goofy. But if you just leave it like that, it looks great. It just, it looks like you got a thick head of hair. I mean, you could thin this out a little bit, but I really don't see the need, but you could wear it off the face. That's the point. And I'm right next to outdoor lighting so you can see all the flaws. Um, you can see that that's my color, but um, you know, it goes temple to temple, like right here. Some of them go to here, 
this one goes right here. I wouldn't even, that's like not even your temple. That's like the corners of your eyebrows, I guess. I don't know. But, um, and then because she's so light, it doesn't, you don't see any rooting. You don't have to worry about that, but it just, it just looks like, you know, a good red. Can you pull off a natural red like this? That's the question. And, um, I think this color, so let's talk about the color right now before I start giving my opinion. So 27 MB, um, is a mixed blend. So it's not all one color, which you can see that right here. Look at that. There's that and that. So what, you know, you're probably wondering, like I am like how many different versions of 27 can there be? Well, apparently several. So, um, that's all I'm going to say about that. So it's a mixture of different reds, which gives it a really good natural redhead look because it's different shades, like some hair with more sun kissed than others and everyone, well, maybe, I don't know anymore. My hair was always ugly, mousy, dishwater blonde or whatever people want to call it. I call it poop brown. So, um, but when my hair was longer, you know, parts of it was more sunny and bright. And so this gives that natural look that people are wanting in a natural red head, um, a natural red color. So it, to me, it looks great. It's not like the FS27, which is a more um, like chestnut roasted auburn with the fashion syrup, the FS. So um, this though is just, is just evenly blended throughout, which is why it's a beautiful color. I am gonna tell you, I've seen this color in human hair and it is like an orange. It's awful and Nobody ever gets it in that color. Um, and you've never seen it online, you won't be able to find it. FS27 in human hair looks more like this than the synthetic version. So I can do a color comparison at some point because I happen to have all three colors. 27 MB, FS27, in human and synthetic. So lucky for you guys, you're gonna get to see that comparison. But yeah, so this is her, she, this, you know, John or no, Amber, you know, Tangle's just as good as all the other John Renaults, so just keep that in mind. When you're driving, keep all the hair up front like this. Ooh, don't let it get stuck in your necklace. Um, you know, you don't want this to rub on things a lot. Otherwise, it, I wouldn't wear this on a windy day. Um, otherwise, you are going to have to worry about the, uh, the friction um, wearing down the pieces. But yeah, this is her. Um, the density is not... I mean, it's thick. It's not a light density, like so. It, but it's not overly thick. So if you're worried about that, you can always thin it if you're if you're concerned. Um, Amber, this would fit a small or medium. My head's small. There's some space, but it's not loose. It's not. I don't feel like I need to have this professionally taken in, just because there's some space. No one's gonna notice. Just leave it alone. Don't bother it. Um, but if your head's large, I have an Amber large. So lucky for you. Um. But yeah, this cap, the, it's just like a standard John Renault cap. I don't have anything else to say about it. Um, but I do like this color here. You can see this color on a non red head. This is near outdoor lighting. So it's very accurate. Uh, but that's all I have on her. So I can do like a 1350. Put this girl on with some red lipstick. You'd be good to go. So thank you ladies for watching. Uh, let me know what you think of this color. If you have any questions, let me know and have a good day.